Okay, folks, finally gonna do it, right? We finna do a, a more of an authentic, you know, style peach cobbler, right? With a, you know, when I say that, I mean, I'm talking about like that peach cobbler crust on the top, right? So the difference is, if you watch my other video, I got like a few million people then uh, looked at it and came back. Listen, it has the bottom crust. That's what everybody's familiar with because everybody say, man, I love that crust, right? So those are really like peach pies. And if you talk about a peach cobbler, it really doesn't have one on the bottom. All your crust and everything, your dough, however you want to call it, is on the top. So with that being said, I feel like I'm over talking. Let's get it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my filling, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, get my butter in the inside right here. Now, as this starts to melt, right, I'm gonna go ahead. You saw me open up the cans. I'm gonna just put it in now. It doesn't really make a difference when, when you do it. Listen, when I tell you I don't wanna overthink it or over talk it, this is real simple and the end result is fire. Now look, these two right here, I know everybody's familiar with. You gotta have this if you're gonna make a peach cobbler, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put in, you know, a little bit here. Add a little bit there. Now don't forget the full ingredient list, you know, along with the printable recipe, it'll be on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. Okay, so I got my half a cup. Now because I cut this down, I like to make sure I pack it. I want to have a true half cup. That's good enough for me, right? So we just drop that in there. That's my brown. And I come with my white. Now we get that in here and we get that to dissolve. I got a medium heat underneath the bottom of here. We're gonna cook these. Oh man, mm, mm, mm. it ought to be a law, folks, making all this goodness. So you see how the peaches are starting to cook down? You know what I mean? They get a little bit, they own their way of getting soft, but you know what I mean? It would take a little bit more heat, but let's look at the liquid right here, right? We wanna make that thick, right? So right here, I got three tablespoons of cornstarch, right? I'm gonna get myself some cold water and I'm finna do equal parts. This is where the magic gonna happen. Once y'all see what happens in there, everybody finna be like, oh yeah, we finna make that right now. Okay, folks, so after you get everything, you know, stirred up, now I want you to watch it. I still got that heat underneath the bottom of it. You see it starting to come back to a boil? Now check this out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just keep stirring this up. You know what I mean? And you guys will be able to see it thicken up right on its own. You see that right there? Look at that. And the more heat I put to it, the thicker it get. Casserole dish, you know what I mean? So I just pour this in there. You can see that the thickness right there. That's why I didn't tease y'all with it because you'd be able to see it just like that. Having this right here, you guys know about that. We made the filling this way. And by no means am I calling this just like an authentic version, uh, authentic peach cobbler, right? We doing a peach cobbler, authentic wise, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's really about that topping. I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is, right? So, brown sugar, real simple. Grab it, pack it, good enough for me. Drop that in there right there. White sugar and then the rest of my ingredients. Oh, drop that in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my flour, all right? Add this over here to this way. Now I got cold butter and I want you guys to take a look at that. That's really what? You got it, unsalted. Before I go ahead and cut that down into like tablespoons or whatever, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my whisk and I'm going to just give this a little bit of a mix. You know what I mean? Not a little bit, but I'm gonna get this incorporated together. Okay, now that we got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and just take these. Remember, this is cold butter. It's been sitting out just for a minute. I just put it in here like that. You guys can do it. Man, there's all kinds of ways you can do it. Check this out, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna leave them in here, all right? I'll just cut them like this, all kinds of ways. All right, so after I do it, like you saw me break up my cubes, I even left something like that whole, you know what I mean? Look, I got me a little pastry cutter, and now I'm just getting ready to, you know, work this in here like this. Now you understand why I made them a little smaller, but if you just keep working with it like this, it's gonna turn into like a little bit of a, I can't really explain it. You guys will be able to see in just one second. Okay, so look, take a look. 
You see how it crumbles up? Don't forget we had that cold, you know, I got in there with my hand. I quit using that pastry cutter. I got in there with my hand, just like clumps it up. Like I'll show you right now. So like, if you take it like that, it should do this, right? So you know you got that butter right, just right. So I'll leave it like that. Now over here, I got a quarter cup of water, right? I'm gonna put this in the microwave because we want this to be boiling hot. Okay, so now that I got it, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this in here just like this. Now immediately, that's gonna, immediately, what it's gonna do is, you know, start to melt some of that butter, right? So now we're gonna have something to go ahead and just mix it all together again. I'm gonna get back in there with my hand. Right now, I'm like aerating it, you know what I mean, so that it doesn't burn me. And I wanna let you guys know this, it's okay to work with your hand. But you see that right there? Ooh, now we on our way, folks. Almost like we making cookies. Oh, I have some chocolate chips. All right, so I bring this back into play, right? Now it's real simple, right? It's up to you how much you, how big you want these to be. I don't get in there and pack them all up. However they are, is how they are. I just take them, I just put it right there, and we just leave that alone, right? We get another one about the same size, give it a little space, and we drop it right there, right? I'm gonna just show you, I'll make one like this. If you pack it all together, it just grows, you know what I mean? But we'll just put it there, and then we'll keep doing that until all of it is gone. Okay, folks, you see that right there? That's a masterpiece. Now you wanna take a little bit of your sugar, just come over the top, because we wanna give it just like a little bit of a glaze. Same way we do with the other, the other peach cobbler when we do a lattice top, you know what I mean? Right, we always put this on the top. We probably do a little butter, you know what I mean? Then we come with a little cinnamon. All right, folks, so that's done, right? Take these off. My oven is already at 375 degrees. We're gonna put it inside, uncover it, and we're gonna put it in for about 30 to about 30 to 40 minutes, right? Or until it becomes golden brown, whichever comes first. Okay, folks. And that there is what you wanna have right there. I can take this. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. I tap this. Oh yeah. You hear that? A little crispy top. This is what you wanna have, right? All of the peach cobbler, you know, filling. That's what you want. That there, let me take a couple of pictures. I gotta let that cool now. You know, I gotta look and see if I got some ice cream. But that there, I don't even know if I'm gonna hit it, folks, to tell you the truth. Okay, folks. Let me see, uh, it didn't cool off enough, but you guys can look at it like that. Listen, I'm serving this tomorrow. I really wanna just put the foil over the top, but this is that same crust, but this is a fire crust. Obviously it's not the Pillsbury dough, but I can hit it over here, just so you guys can see the thickness. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? Come on now, look at that peach, right? Okay, folks, this is fire. Look, I'm the cook, I'm the chef, right, that did this. So I broke a piece off right there, hit a little bit of my, you know, my filling. And all I can tell you is <laughs> this right here is fire. You know what I mean? I'm gonna stick both of them in there. And if you guys didn't know, I got another one right here. I just did a live. That one is almost brown. That's the old school lattice top. Now, with that being said, happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. And guess what, folks? In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna be out. Peace.